everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing real good. Did you happen to catch Princess Casserole's whatnot auction? It was very cool. Lots of brooches. This um, I uncovered. This is actually Emmons. I kept thinking it was Sarah Coventry, but... You know, Emmons started out as Sarah Coventry. That's what it was at the beginning. It says Emmons. And in my book, it says it uh, doesn't have a name, which I think it does. But some books, they just sometimes don't get it right. But it's very cool. Maybe it's like Magic Wand or something like that. This is not named anything. It's not Sarah Coventry or anything. But uh, I like it. It's not missing anything, right? No. For some reason, it reminds me of that, the mirror, that, um, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. It reminds me of that. This is my favorite glass necklace that I just fixed because one of these came out. I mean, it's really super old. How old do you think this is? It reminds me of something, the same glass that would be on a really old chandelier. Is that vertigree? Oh my. I need to do something to help that. It's so pretty. This blue is just like green. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> the green is so pretty that it made me think it's blue. Tricked. Tricked me. No. This is kind of like um like a deep I don't know what to call it. It's not peridot. It's just like icy. It's so beautiful. But anyway, I'm going on and on and on. And on. Something else I need to fix. This little beauty. It only needs a clasp. I believe it is sterling. Yes. With the two little weirdly shaped dolphins. One has an eye and the other kind of has an eye. Can't really get a grasp of how pretty that stone is unless you look at it in the light. Let me see if I can see. So pretty. Love it. I'm into it, totally into it. But I'm still trying to figure out what, I guess this is celluloid. It's not glass. And I'm wondering if I should clean it. I think it's interesting that this side is blue and it really has no, you know what I mean? It doesn't shine through, it doesn't, let me see if we can see it on the light. What? No, that's weird. I mean, it's not shell, it's definitely a plastic. But it's got the blue in the back. Maybe it's got two pieces, I don't know. But I'm trying to figure that out. This other beauty. This is bone, definitely. My sister gave this to me. And I love it. I have worn it too, so definitely have worn it. Love a bracelet like this. It looks so pretty on. And you could put you could slide stuff on here. I can't get it closed, but that's me. Okay. I just like that look. And the cornucopia. 
Oh, my stuff is wearing off. Looks like I drew on myself with pen. But I did not. Is this missing a stone? No. It's a cornucopia. Don't see too many cornucopias. Come think of it. I really like this watch. It is so hard to read. Hold on. Oh, it's um, Dufonte, Lu Lucien Bacard. Lucien Bacard. It's very pretty. But like I said, I really want to wear watches, but I always have this on. They're just like jewelry. I mean, they don't have to tell time or anything. You're just... Okay, so... I believe these are the same material as those others. It's just some sort of vintage plastic. Celluloid. He's purple. Interesting. I wonder how old they are and if somebody actually, if there was a time when people were wearing them. I'm assuming so. This is not for sale, so there's no reason for this to be on here. This is from Angie Treasure Vintage. It's got Scarab, my favorite. You might have said, hey, I think I've seen this stuff before. You might have. I'm looking at all my favorite stuff. Some of it I will have to let go of, but this one, no. Because I've never found another one. It's totally awesome. Oh, this is another one I can't give up. Uh, yeah, it has a, a name in here somewhere. Probably there where I can't read it. Yeah. Can you see it? It's 800 sterling and a PE. I have to look up the name again. I forgot it. Gorgeous cuff. That's like something that I can't give up. I can't. Same with this acorn. Acorn bracelet. What do I love about it? Too many things to name. Too many things. This is my favorite scarab necklace. I have to wear an extender because it's too short. Because it's really old and it's gold filled. And look at the clasp. Love a clasp like that. I don't think it's marked, but look at look at the stones in there. That's like um I think it's a moonstone. Definitely a tiger's eye. Some sort of I don't think it's jade. I forgot the pink one. That's citrine. No, it wasn't marked with anything, but it's so cool. Definitely my favorite one. This one is second favorite. Look at these. I believe, and this is a shorty too. I believe this is gold filled. Yep. It's a nice quality one. Look at that. I want to say Celadon, but for that blue yeah I knew these at one time but you know of course when you get on camera the brain just mm -mm. but I do love this one quality quality beauty 
more full butterfly, my favorite bracelet. I think I can get rid of. Doesn't look like it's got some green on it. Ah, gonna have to give that a cleaning. This is a glass. Um, not sure if anything's supposed to go in there, like little rhinestones or something, but I just thought it was a really cool piece of glass. So I'm gonna keep that away from everybody else and give that a scrub. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm okay. It's okay. Nothing's broken. Some of my favorite. Um, belt uh, buckles. You know, the things that go in front of the belt. Um, Still never got the other piece. There was another piece that I, I left at the antique shop and went back and she had moved stuff and rearranged and said, oh yeah. And she said, we'll find it eventually. And maybe eventually we will, but this was quite a long time ago, but I'm happy to have one half of it. And thinking that I was going to do something to it to make some sort of pendant or brooch. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. Same with the enamel. These are two different pieces. But I guess you could put them together. Look at the color. Oh my gosh, I love that color so much. That turquoise and the cobalt. The pink. They don't go together, but I just can't get over the, the beauty of it. I just love it so much. What did I say I'd be able to give up? One thing so far? I love this. I don't know why. It's a very old circular brooch. And you know, they... There's a lot of circular brooches out there. I just, I think it's the old rhinestones that get me. I mean, it looks like sterling at first, but now I could see it's a little, maybe a little bit coppery under there. Yeah. I guess it's just the stones. They're beautiful. This one I bought so long ago. It was right before I started buying a crap load of jewelry. <laughs> Another favorite I can't give up. It's just so old and cool. Same with this one. This is sterling. Yep. I have a feeling this one is super old. It's got one of those really cool clasps. The ones that, like that. Uh. Yep, it says sterling. I don't know if that's some sort of mark ahead of it. But, yeah, love that too much. My favorites. Can you see? Niagara Falls. I think it might have been repaired or something happened there, but I don't care. Reverse painted. Can't beat that. Absolutely not. Other favorite. Solo. I think that's how it's pronounced. Really neat. It's in great shape. I don't know if it's gold filled or what. It sure is pretty. This is gold filled, this part. 
this I don't know but I'm sure it was pretty fancy back in the day still fancy right this one I tested this part it came up gold but I don't trust you know I don't think these are diamonds but it sure is pretty and it's really old I'm thinking it could be you know 20s 30s Gorgeous. Love it. Another pretty one. This is I, don't, I love the tricoloredness of it. It's Jules Jurgensen. It's the ones they always used to have um, the prices right, you know, when they were started at the uh the beginning there would be you know dishwasher well washer dryer jules jergeson watch it's a very pretty one super duper pretty Favorite lucite looking buckle, saddlebags, something or others. I love them so much. These, I think, were actually not pierced at one time. It's so weird. Somebody fixed them or did something. And then you have this on here. This little piece, I don't know if it's like a little tag of 24 karat gold or something that they welded on back there. Just so weird. And then they've got this gold teal color. How could you not love those? Aren't they cool? Oh my goodness. And this, I am on the hunt for the other one. This is one of the old screw back with the little pearl and purple stone. I don't know if it's amethyst, but we could say maybe, yeah. And they're just so cool. And I know I have this other one somewhere. I just have to find it. And I will. I sure will. <gasps> Guess what I found. Isn't that cool? I have another pair of screw back like this. With the actual screw. They're supposed to be um, one of the, the first pierced earring situation so with the post like that with the screw so neat oh all right thanks guys for visiting and uh taking a look at the stuff with me i love looking at all this just delicious jewelry it just makes my my heart and my eyes happy oh and one of my favorite watches never worked for me and i don't care <laughs> it is another one of those solo ones i just think it's so pretty i think it's originally a men's watch i mean how classy is that 
next to that. <laughs> I love it, and it fits me so much better now. I used to kind of dig in, and I said, oh, I don't want to wear it because it kind of looks like it's strangling my wrist, but now it's not. And I'm going to wear it like a piece of jewelry. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you soon. And what's today? Wednesday. Okay. So a couple more days and hopefully I'll have some brand new hauls with some cool, exciting stuff. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, yes. Of course, drop in my link uh, for the whatnot. If you haven't tried the app out, try it out. It's a lot of fun. It's fast paced. You can go in and out of all the different auctions and just watch you don't have to buy anything and if you do buy something it's super easy because you hook up your payment system it you pay it they ship it you don't have to wait for invoices nothing like that so it's fantastic hope you can join there i'll be looking forward to seeing you thanks guys see you soon bye